Hey everyone and welcome back to the Heart Survive for Red World Soviet Union Eurasian Empire mod playthrough. Uh, if my voice sounds a little bit off, it's because I'm trying to stop. There you go, that's why. I'm trying to stop myself from hiccuping. I've got quite an issue right now. I need to get rid of it ASAP. Um, oh my Christ, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> um, in the meantime though, we are building up. All of our units are en route to their militaristic locations. I do have the new rifles in the Rifles of Liberty. Right here. Being led by Saman. Uh, what I'm... Oh my god. Actually going to do... I'm going to line up here on a Psalm. I'm going to try and gain some more territory. That's the goal of today's episode. Whilst we wait for the change... The political change in the empire and to wait to, to leave the Warsaw Pact, as it were. We're going to try our best to take out more pieces of, of Asia, essentially. Uh, we outnumber India without a doubt. That's, 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 yeah, that's factual. That's very, very factual. Um, also, because these episodes are normally, oh my god, normally half hour long because of the, um, the hiccups, I'm gonna, I might make them 15 minutes to 20 minutes long today. Just so that you're not smothered in, uh, smothered and drowned in my hiccups. Because it's, it's, it's not nice at all. It doesn't make for entertaining content. Unless you like counting the amount of times I, uh, I hiccup per, 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 per episode. Then, by all means, be my guest. Be my guest. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Okay, so. You lads are slowly en route. So you're going to come down to Karachi. From Karachi, we're going to come to Dhaka. And once in Dhaka, we're going to hit Assam hard. And when I say hard, I mean hard. Real, real hard. Uh, so that's fine. Cool. Motorized rifles. Yep, they're looking solid. How oh my guards tank brigades? They're looking solid as well. They're pretty much good all round for it. I suppose looking at production. Yeah, it's literally just everything needs a little bit of love to fill up, but overall everything seems fine. Everything seems golden. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to justify war against them. Assam, 150 days. The guys will be there by then, all ready to go. So, that being that, I'm going to do that. I've got aircraft in the area, I think. There we go. Right, 800 I'll go with first. There we go. Okay, so I've got some here that I can hit in East India. So, that's them. And then I've got some more drones as well to do the trick. There you go. So, they're all on route. They'll be doing their job in no time. Oh, time. Oh my god, the hiccups. I can't take it anymore. The hiccups are just too much. <laughs> oh my Christ. How the hell do I get rid of it? Hold on. I'm going to try and hold my breath for as long as possible. And hope that that gets rid of them. Because this is just not making for a, for a good video. Like, What's the title going to be? Invading Hiccup Burma. Hiccup. Oh my Christ. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. <sighs> okay, right. I held my breath. I'm hoping that's going to do it. Fingers crossed. Oh, my lord. Oh, my. No, it's still here. It's still here. <laughs> it's still here. <clears throat> help me. Help me, oh help me, oh help me. Speaking of uh, help, the factories seem to be helping each other here. We're absolutely blitzing through these uh, forts. So I just do... Wait, what, hold on, what's that do? Send defensive ping. Okay, what does this do? Defensive ping? What is a defensive ping? Oh, it like 
to your allies. It's just like, yo, dude, over here. And they're just like, what? Oh my god. Okay, what's happening here? And then you can have a look. That's pretty damn cool. And then set an offensive ping and just like, oh my god, dude, guess what? What? We're going to war attack here. And just like, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Oh my god, I never. How is it that I've had this DLC for so long and I've only just noticed the offensive and defensive pings? Why is this a thing? Why is this something that I'm only just noticing? Why? Why? I should have known. I should have known. Right, right okay, we'll get, this is getting a bit too full. So let's just go Rifles of Liberty number two with Nikita Kolchak. Daka. Cool. I want you guys to line up here. Actually, I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, this can be known as Battle Rifles 2. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, Rifles. Of, of, uh, Rivals of Liberty 2.0. <laughs> there we go, 2.0. That, that, that ought to do the, uh, that ought to do the trick. Also, I need to get, once these are all done, I literally need to get all my, oh my god, there's so much to do. There's so much to do. And not enough time, I say. Cameroonian social, socialist, what's that? Socialist Republic? Union, okay. See, even if I just take that, I think that'll be okay, no? Nah, I mean, after all, we are doing... It is the Eurasian Empire, so we just need to take Europe and everything else is fine, I suppose. We're going to take the British Isles for ourselves, I think. But we're going to put House Windsor in charge over here in Canada. We're going to do the right thing. We're going to do the right thing. And we need to fight the Democratic League. Now, the Democratic League, or the Commonwealth of Nations, is looking pretty strong. So we've got Austria and New Zealand... We have got Burma, Sri Lanka involved. We have also got... Uh, who are you? Who is this? Who are you? Country. Give me your name. Botswana. I wasn't sure. Wanted to double check. Botswana. Then we've got Nigeria. Then on top of Nigeria, we've got Freetown. Freetown. Uh, Liberia. Liberia. Then down here, we've got Guyana. I think that's... No, not Guyana. Uh, Guinea. 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 Gambia. 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 There, there we go. That nation. Commonwealth of Nations. There you go. Britain has joined itself as well. Uh, Jamaica. A few of the islands. The Democratic League, however, has been replaced with Argentina, of all people. Which is rather strange. Rather odd indeed. Well, we've got Nick... Oh, Jesus Christ. We've got Nick... We've got Nick Clegg in charge. Oh, no. And I thought... Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Right, we've got Cleggers. We got Cleggers in charge. I'm, I'm not entirely sure that this is going to go to plan. Uh, the Italian Socialist League, uh, or the yeah, the Italian Socialist International, is needing some love as well. Because, yo, one man wearing sand. Oh my God, he's got a whole bio. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, this guy doesn't even get a, a, a bio. Hold on, what about Clegg? Does Clegg have one? Clegg doesn't have a bio. Woo! What about this fella? Jean-Luc Mélenchon? Nope, nothing. What about me? Vladimir Putin does not have a bio. What makes the guy who rules Colombia so important to have such an amazing... Wow. Okay, what about Venezuela? Hugo Chavez? Nothing. Brazil? Nothing. Uh, you. You look like you're in a UN meeting. Nope, nothing. Mexico? Definitely nothing. Okay. Fair enough. I've just noticed, it looks like the guy from the Matrix we've got in charge right now. <laughs> I've just had to point that one out. Oh, dear. I'll tell you what, though. They're building up. They're building up quite a fair bit. We're going to have a, a big fight in our hands. This is going to be a strong war. There are going to be nukes flying everywhere. And what I mean everywhere? I mean everywhere. Right, train these guys up. You can go with uh, Ivan Gurko. Put you on aggressive. Uh, where's looking pretty thin? Uh, everywhere's seemingly okay, to be fair. Right, just uh, come around Bulgaria, I suppose. Go around Bulgaria. That's fine. Uh, how are we doing for resources? Right, okay. So let's come off of this for a minute. Let's just sort of stop the production of troops. So I don't need that many right now. I mean, look, let's just... Uh, there we go. 760. 26. 29. 
Oh, wow. No, we are gonna, we're definitely going to need that many troops. Oh, God. I was getting a little bit hopeful. Never mind. <laughs> and the March on Moscow happens. Oh, my God. In 14 days. No, no. Is that 14 days? Yeah, 14 days. 16 days, sorry. Yeah. 14 days until it's done. Okay, so 29th of August. Two more months until we take out Assam. I found this nation really quick. I want to keep them around. The kingdom of God and Jesus Christ. The Council of uh, Nagalim Churches. I just want to keep them around because why not? How many people can say, yo, I live in a world where there's a country called the Kingdom of God and Jesus Christ. How many people... You know what? Bhutan Thunder Dragon Empire has got nothing on this. Nothing on this at all. At all. And yo, Jigmi Singye Jig, Jig Wangchak has got a bloody cool name. Dragon King received his education in Western Institute from India to England upon his father's death. He became the Dragon King. Yo, how? What? Yo, make me royalty of Bhutan. I want to be known as the Dragon King. Oh, I am the King of Britain. I just, oh, oh, oh. I, I am the heir to Napoleon. Oh, 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 oh. And then you've got people in Germany who's got the stereotypical of, uh, of just, ah. I am, I am von Hohenzollern. I am, I am, should be King of Germany. Uh, and then you just come all the way to Asia and it's just like, yeah, just, just, just so you guys know, uh, my, my name is Jigme and, uh, I'm the thun, I, I am the Dragon King. I, I, what? I am the, wow. I am the Dragon King. Nah, okay, nah. Well, if, if, if I could re -be, -bo be reborn, please, if anyone is listening, if the universe is listening, make me come back as Bhutan Royals. Please. I want to be Bhutanese royalty. That is what I'd be needing right now. <laughs> right, okay, so that is now done. Which means it is time to crown Zizar. It's time to get back to where we were, baby. We're built. We're good. We're strong. These guys are taking ages. South Sudan, Quetta, Peshawar, Chengdao, uh, Yarkman, Baluchistan. So Afghanistan is just a lost hope at the moment, if I am getting the right message here. Yeah. Because so, this is all from Quetta. That is all that. Everything else is Central Sudan, South Sudan, Eastern Fra Thrace, Marava. So basically the European ones and the Ethiopian ones are starting to... Well, Ethiopia isn't a problem actually, because they're National Bolshevik. So that's not a big deal. It's just Thrace that needs to sort of finish. This whole area here just needs to finish. And then Peshwa. So that being... Actually, I'll tell you what. What we're going to do... Uh, Central Sudan. Get rid of that. Central Sudan. Get rid of that. South Sudan. Get rid of that. South Sudan. Get rid of that. South Sudan. There's some there. So that'll do right now. Now we can actually focus on Afghanistan. Because that's actually the last one we need. As in uh, when it comes down to stuff like that. Uh, like borders and such. Um, I'll tell you what. It's one, when it comes down to borders. I want... Some a good amount of guys here doing this. There you go. I want you guys to get onto. Uh... Why does that not look like a proper line? Why does that not look like a proper line? Hold on. Oh, because I've already assigned you to stuff, haven't I? Oh, I'm quite the pleb, aren't I? Right, hold on. Just give me a minute. Uh, how do I... How does one uh, cancel... Cancel... Hold on. Uh, yes, cancel all orders. That's what I want. Right, I want you to come over to Afghan. Nice and easy like that. Go on. On you go, chap. Yeah, you're on your way. You're yeah. definitely on your way. Go on. Bloody hell, that speed. That's crazy levels of speed. Wow, mama. Madness. Absolute madness. But at least they're going down quick. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Let me get some more of my battle rifles in. 24 of them. Let me get another 5. 5 is all I want. We'll have them spawn all over here so they're just here. They haven't got to do much moving. Uh, two more months until we can take out Assam. Crown Putin and Azar. That's coming soon. The last twin engine fight is coming soon as well. Uh, I'd like to have all of this maxed out. But I'm not sure how viable that is as an option. 
but as long as these are getting done, I mean, look, everything's maxed out pretty much except for a few underlying areas. I mean, that's 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 fine. Again, these are just getting all worked on now. I need to get these guys as a friend. Your Red Alliance. Oh, your socialist. Intriguing. Intriguing. Huh. Okay. That's fine. Your Asian Empire will soon be a thing. Hopefully. Here's hoping. Fingers crossed. Dearing me. Right, but you guys look like you're ready to absolutely go for it. Without a doubt. 29th of August. So long! <laughs> oh, dearie me. I need to do it Italy at some point as well. Obviously, because I need to claim that Eurasia. Especially the Eur part as well as Asia. I've got most of Asia, just not Europe. I've got, I've got, the, I've got the second half of my name sorted near enough. Japan needs to be dealt with as well. Mr. Toshio Ta Tamo Tamagami we need to deal with. But again, this is all sort of a just after everything's done uh hold on i want to check my navy actually uh how, what's 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 the navy doing right so the med fleet is looking pretty tasty we've got the arab and west indians fleets that's fine uh we've got the baltic fleet up here why do i feel like i'm missing a navy peacekeeping escorts iberian region Oh, okay. Repair. Do you need to repair? You're already. F you're fine. Okay then. That being the. S that being that then, I'll set you up. In well, hold on. What's the what's the enemy's navy like? Twenty one. Zero. Thirty seven. Ninety seven. So we're gonna end up big bloody fleet for the this area here. So you know what. Everything here is going peacekeeping. Good. Good. Right, I've got enough space to bang more on there. That's fine. Like that. Submarine, give me 50 peacekeeping escorts. Right, the peacekeeping escorts, I now want you to go convoy raiding along here like that. Super. You're now doing that. That's, that's absolutely perfect, actually. That's, yes, good. Keep expanding that navy. That's exactly what we're going to need to do. Keep on top of that is, is rule number one. Okay. So next month we'll be taking out a sum. But I think by the time that comes, we will not be a Soviet Union anymore. I think by that time period, we'll be referred to as the Kingdom of Eurasia or the Eurasian Empire. Right. Socialist Chile with her in charge. Yeah. What the uh, For what? 400 divisions. Isabella Lende. Um, what's Spanish for chill? Because I, I very much appreciate letting her know she needs to she needs to take a chill pill. Because darling, you're too much. Yo, this guy, you sure you're not Italian? With the hammer. Najib Amado. Najib, Am is that Amado? Amado? But Oscar Zamora Medinacelli. Okay, Bolivian Communist Party and, uh, and even the founder of the Communist Youth Organization, Oscar Zamora Medinacelli, split from the party in 1964. Uh, oh, okay, so he's Maoist. Cool. Uh, Brazil is liberal. Hey, how are you, Peru? Kiko Fujimori. You're very Japanese for a Peruvian. Cool. Okay, well, to be fair, there's a lot of South Americans in Japan and a lot of Jap Japanese in South America, surprisingly. Um, so I guess that makes sense. Then we've got Jimmy, Jimmy Jairala. Running Ecuador. Uh, guy in his union, we've got Bob. Everyone knows Bob. You know that really important world leader, Bob. Then we've got Ricardo Martinelli. Central America, or, well, American Amsterdam. Daniel Ortega. Guatemala is led by a radio guy. Mexico. Cuba. Cuba, Cuba. Alfredo Estrada. Haiti is led by Michael Mart Martelli. With a, what a beautiful smile. Look at him. He's so happy. He's just like, communism ain't here. It's perfect. So Jamaica's led by Zach. Everyone knows Zach. Dominican. Wow. Nationalist Dominican Republic has a lovely, lovely flag. Seferino Cis Cisneros. Cool name. Puerto Rico is led by Jeb Bush. I'm pretty sure he's got a lovely tan right now. Dominica is led by Colbert Leon. 
Who's actually leading Canada right now? That's a good shout. Canada. It's led by Preston Manning. Let's just not let's ignore that. And then we've got what's your name again? John Leahy. Uh, the Swedes are being read by Maud. The, day, uh, the Norwegians are being Oysten Maya Johansson. Icelandic state being led by Bjorn. Everybody loves a Bjorn. What about Cyprus? We've just left Cyprus and Malta alone this whole time, right? Same person for Cyprus. How about Malta? Because Malta are fascists, aren't they? Frank Frangis Chevalier. Okay, you do that. Uh, you do that, buddy. You do that. I ain't, ain't going to bother you. It's not on my uh, to-do list to bother you today. Mohamed Najib Najibullah. You are about to go down, Momo. Smyrna. 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 Yatov. Cool. Smyrna Yatov. Vasily Shuvalov. Cool. I want you to come here, Vas. Come on, Vazzy. That's right. All of you guys are getting in position. Imagine that, though. Level 10 fort surrounding Afghanistan in the mountains. They push. It's, a sui it's suicide. It's genuinely suicide. I love how there's a province called Mary. Have you taken a trip to Mary yet? I haven't. <laughs> right, we're going to go to war with Assam fairly, fairly soon. Another 18 days. However, I feel like, yep, yeah, I was right. I was right. Eight days after becoming the Eurasian Empire, we will be going to war with someone else. But I feel like the grand finale of the change will be seen maybe next episode. Do I leave it next episode? I don't know. Maybe for entertainment value we do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, guys, anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to, of course, lick that, click that, lick that. Yes, lick your like button. Uh, and or subscribe, share me with your friends, and uh, leave some suggestions for the next Hoi 4 series on the channel you want to see. Give me ideas, guys. What do you want? What do you want? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Anglo. You've been you. Have a good one, guys. And laters. <laughs>